Hey there, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here. My name is Rosa. I live on San Miguel Island, which is located in the archipelago of the Azores. And my goal on this channel is to share a little bit of my journey and my lifestyle living on an island. It's pretty different from living in a big continent. Today is a special video. It is my Portuguese fish soup. A lot of people requested me to share the recipe of this fish soup. Um, so here it is. I will have the written recipe in the description box below. So if you want that written recipe, you can go ahead down and see that. Copy it, write it down. I just want you guys to promise me you will try making this soup. It was delicious. I I was so satisfied when I ate it. Uh, it's been a long time since I made this soup. Um, I remember when I first made it, my sister was pregnant and it was one of her pregnancy cravings and I had never made it in my life. And I think I was, um, yeah, I was 16 years old the first time I made that soup. I just need to say that it's a very delicious, heartwarming, satisfying soup. Um, I know to some people fish soup may sound weird, but don't knock it until you try it. Um, you won't regret it when you try it. You'll know what I mean when I say this soup is very, very delicious. Anyways, I've already told you a hundred times that the soup is delicious. We should start and get into the recipe. I'm going to cook this fish in a pot with some water and some salt. I might put in a little bit of parsley just for seasoning and we'll see how we'll go on about that after. So, one small onion will be enough, and you don't have to cut it up that fine, because we will be, um, how do you say it, blending the soup after, so that's good enough. my pot I added the onion and the garlic. I let it saute for just two minutes and then I added in the tomato because we are going to puree all of this so the texture doesn't really matter. I added in um, a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of pepper and it was white pepper and I added in uh, like a fourth, te fourth teaspoon of um, sweet paprika. I'm going to let that simmer for a little bit and I'm going to dice up the carrots for later on. I guess I didn't film it but I did dice up a, a carrot, it was a small carrot. And now I'm going to dice up one potato as well and we'll add that on later on on the soup. I don't want these to be pureed, I want these to be chunks in the soup.
tomato and my onion is cooked. I am going to blend it. Puree it with the blender. But first I am going to take out the bay leaf. Put it in there because we'll, we can use it again. Um, I'm going to put it in this bowl because I'm going to blend it and then I'm going to put it through a strainer to take out any seeds or skin because we don't want that in our soup. We're going to take this back to the stove. I'm going to turn the heat back on. So we have this beautiful paste, which is the base of our soup. I'm now going to add in that broth that was cooked with the fish. So four cups of that broth went in. I'm going to add in this potato and carrot. So that can get cooking. I drained the water that was here. the rest of that parsley that I have in this bag. While this starts to simmer up and cook the potatoes, we are going to um, handle our fish. So when handling fish, you need to be very careful because this fish is full of fish bones and we don't want fish bones in our soup. And that is it. What do you think? What did you think of this recipe? Are you going to try it? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if this is the type of video that you like to watch. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future content on my channel. I am planning on making more videos about the island, any season uh, theme videos. If you have a suggestion or anything that you would like me to film on San Miguel Island, you can let me know in the comments down below. I love to read your guys' comments, and I really appreciate all of your support.
Before I leave, I cannot uh, go without saying thank you uh, for everything, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!